All of the problems covered in my videos can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link, you can download a copy of the workbook for yourself. Also on the website, you'll find links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones I've uploaded to YouTube. I've uploaded over a hundred extra videos on this website that you can't find on YouTube. So I do hope you'll check out accountingworkbook.com. All right, let's begin our problem. In this video, we're going to learn to prepare a set of basic financial statements. This is problem 1-3A from our accounting workbook, and you can download the problem and workbook in the link below. Um, so let's take a run through it. Uh, it says, Sherry Shuttles is a bus company offering rides to outdoor adventurers. In the summer, she caters to mountain bikers and in the winter to skiers. Sherry's company has the following account balances all on December 31st, 2017, and for the year then ended, unless otherwise noted. And there's a big long list of accounts that we're going to deal with in a second. The company didn't issue or repurchase any common shares during the year. Okay, that's good news. And we've got to do an income statement, statement of changes in equity, and a statement of financial position, also called a balance sheet, and do some ratios as well. Okay, so we've got a lot of work to do, but before we get going, I just want to introduce each of the financial statements that we're going to have to do. So the first one is the income statement, right? I'm just looking at part A here, and part A says do an income statement. Well, here's what an income statement is. An income statement has us list the company's revenues, we list the company's expenses, and we say, okay, whatever the company's total revenues are, that's the stuff the company earns, minus whatever the expenses are, those are the costs of doing business, that equals the profit of the company, and we're going to call that the NI, the net income of the company. So what we're trying to do with an income statement is just decide whether the company made a profit or not and how big that profit was. So revenues, the stuff a company earns, minus expenses, the costs of a company, uh, are all that you'll find on an income statement. Again, revenues minus expenses equals net income, and net income is the profit of a company. Uh, statement of changes in shareholders' equity. We look at any of our company's shareholders' equity accounts, and we say how they changed. So in this case, we've really just got two common shares and retained earnings, we say to ourselves, okay, did the company issue any common shares or repurchase any? Well, we know this company didn't, so uh, the common shares aren't gonna change. Retained earnings goes up if the company makes net income or down if it makes a net loss. And if the company's shareholders choose to take dividends, that decreases the retained earnings. And so we say, here's what we started with for common shares, retained earnings. Here's all the changes and then we total it and we say, here's what we ended with for common shares, retained earnings. And again, we might have preferred shares in com some companies. We might have this crazy concept of AOCI, which again, we're not gonna touch on for weeks and weeks. Some courses probably never touch it. We will in our uh, online course here, but uh, accumulated other comprehensive income is uh, another type of equity that you may be asked to worry about. But certainly not uh, in week one, uh, especially in basic financial statements. The final statement we're going to learn to prepare is the statement of financial position. I always shorten that up when I'm talking about it casually. I call it the balance sheet, uh, but the more formal name is statement of financial position. And uh, when we look at this statement, this is our accounting equation just laid out. It's the assets, the liabilities, and the shareholders' equity of a company. So we list the assets, we list the liabilities, we list the shareholders' equity accounts, and we say, hey, do assets equal liabilities plus shareholders' equity? Question mark. And the answer is yes, they always do. Uh, but the balance sheet is our way of sort of demonstrating that fact. Okay. So before we get to the financial statements, this is going to be a multi-part video, probably four parts, five parts even. Uh, it takes a while to do this, uh, lucky us. Um, before we get to any of it, though, we actually have to classify our accounts. So if you're not sure how to classify accounts, well, we'll learn now. But go back to the previous video, uh, problem 1-2A and 1-2B, great problems on classification. And if you don't know what any of this terminology means, lots of good videos on that as well. Um, okay. 
So wages payable is our first one, and we just want to classify it. Is it an asset, liability, shareholders' equity, revenue, expense, or dividend? If it's an asset or liability, let's say if it's current or not. Uh, so wages payable, that is a liability. It's got the word payable in it that gives it away as a liability. I'm just going to change to red ink here. Um, so that is a current liability. Dividends. We'll just call dividends dividends. Uh, some profs might take exception to that. They might say, no, let's call this a shareholder's equity account. It's a sub account of really retained earnings, but I like to treat it as its own animal. Dividends are a little bit weird. Uh, cash. Cash is an asset and it's a current asset, of course. Common shares. Well, shouldn't be a surprise. Shares are shareholders equity. Accounts payable. That's a current liability. Buildings net. We'll explain this concept of net uh, a little bit later on, but for the, this purpose, just think of that as a value of our buildings. And our buildings are a non-current asset. Shuttle revenue. We're a shuttling service. So uh, absolutely shuttle revenue is a, uh, a revenue account. I'm just gonna pause this video. I heard a knocking at my door. I'm just trying to figure out, can I pause? Oh, I can't. Well, I'm not gonna answer the door. Uh, fuel expense, that's an expense. It's a cost of doing business. Depreciation expense, that's an expense. I wonder who was at the door. I hope it wasn't like a courier or something. Insurance expense. An expense, telephone expense, an expense, equipment net, that's an asset and it's non-current. Bank loan, that's a liability. And again, assume non-current for bank loans. It could be current, but we're going to assume non-current. Retained earnings, that is a shareholder's equity account. Accounts receivable, that is an asset and it's current. Office supplies, asset, current. Wages expense, that's an expense, a cost of doing business. Utilities expense, also an expense, a cost of doing business. And we've classified all of our accounts. I'm going to go answer the door. In the next video, we're going to walk through the statement of changes in equity, uh, or actually the income statement. Uh, and in subsequent videos will go through the statement of changes in shareholders equity and the statement of financial position. So stay tuned for those. I'm going to go see who is knocking at my door. Bye for now.